today I am back I'm doing a look featuring some of our new products so, so let's start off I am going to be using primer and do my whole face and then I'll do my eyes last so today I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different I am using primer as well as a little bit of illuminator so that I get that all over sheer glue. I don't usually offer this because I tend to be kind of oily but I do love that glow from within look. Now this primer helps to mattify um, your skin. I prepped my face with some gel moisturizer and some under eye cream. Okay, so I am going to come in with a medium coverage foundation. So everything I use today is from the HCM line. Um, I obviously cannot release an entire makeup line one time, but everything with time. So the benefits of medium coverage is that you can build where you need it to be um, without actually looking caked. I'm using our oh, sponge. Um, dump. So not too wet, not too dry. As you see, it's very soft. I generally do not like very heavy foundation, but I do love coverage. Um, I have veins which are very visible, but I just apply extra where it's needed. So if you remember, I am blind without my glasses and I do not have one contacts. So if you see me out of scope, it's because I'm trying to get a closer look at the mirror. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to go in with our cream contour palette so I am gonna start by applying our contour and then our highlight shades so to contour I generally like to use a nose contour brush um, for more precision I do not do a heavy contour um, Generally because this makeup is just for at home. Um, if I were to do like photo shoot makeup, I would go heavier as it would photograph better. I know most people go for a very chiseled nose. Um, I'm generally happy with my nose, but I do it just for doing it sick. So I wouldn't necessarily change the shape of my nose, but I would highlight my nose and the shape of it. So I'm going in now with our highlight shade. All our palettes would include a mirror. So you can use it if, like me, you cannot see. As well as it makes it easier in terms of a travel palette. So put it in your purse, which I've done many times, um, leaving home. Makeup's not done. Like, I don't want to go out without 
putting on something and I take it, put it in my bag along with everything else and I have my mirror as well. So I'm gonna now go in and blend out with the sponge. I do my highlight first um, just so if I forget which side of the sponge I used to blend out my contour, I don't muddy my highlight. Fine lines. Um, I have deep set eyes, which you can see. I generally do not hide them because literally no matter what you do you have them i've tried several things and it's just basically hereditary and i've upped my water intake and i have seen improvement but realistically unless i do maybe a procedure then it will go away So I do follow with the powder contour palette so that I can set my contour areas and I use our banana loose powder in order to set my highlighted areas. So yes, I do wear faces while doing my makeup but Really and truly, who doesn't? Because sometimes just to get that precision, you gotta make the weird face. Okay, so I'm gonna go in now with our powder contour palette. I use the shades Fair. So I will go in with both the contour shade as well as the bronzer shade and I am using an Anastasia contour brush. So I go in lightly at first because I don't want to go too dark and then I just look bad. Especially as I can't see very well without my glasses in terms of detail um, I prefer to build So I gently buff it up um, just so I don't have that stark line. And I don't go down because I generally don't clean up with the powder, um, just out of preference. In terms of I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. I will actually use the same brush I'm going to use for my blush because I'm not gonna go in too heavy. I do need a tan so a bronze look is necessary. I have not been to the beach in a really long time. Um, not because of COVID, I generally do not like sand. Um, and then to every time you plan to go, it's rough seas. And I cannot take my son to the beach. At his age, he isn't going to understand rough seas. We cannot go in. So to make life easier, just haven't gone as yet. So I am going to go in now with our 
we just get the brush with our loose powder our loose powder in the shade banana and I'm going to basically set everywhere which I didn't just set with the contour powder um, so like I said this is really just for home and I, I do enjoy doing my makeup even if I'm at home because makeup is for me and actually helps me feel good makeup is so therapeutic um it's not the only thing I like to do that's therapeutic um I enjoy doing my nails so that's something I've been doing oh, for as long as I can remember as long as I could have held a nail polish brush steady I've been doing my nails I hope you guys enjoy doing makeup as well I know some people are intimidated by it I was as well in terms of how much time it's gonna take me to do this and what I'm gonna do it right I tried a lot on my own initially watching videos and then I also did three classes two different makeup artists and I also look at online classes because each artist different techniques and you can in fact learn different things from different persons so don't be intimidated try um, while YouTube can teach you a lot hands-on training can never be replaced So I generally use setting powder and then put on my blush and highlight. Um, I do it both ways and then I set my face before I do my eyes. So today I'm using two shades of the blush. I'm using Lucky 13 which is actually a favorite of mine as well as I am using Sultry. Now, I'm mixing them because while I love Lucky 13, I wanted to do somewhat of a toned down blush. Um, if you saw my videos before, you know I really love blush. And I love a heavy blush too, but I want my eyes to more or less stand out in this look. So I'll take a teeny bit of Lucky 13 and then some of Sultry. So while I concentrate on the apples of my cheek, I also carry it up. And I have seen, so I'm just gonna go in with a little more sultry. So I've seen persons put blush like on their noses as well. Um, if it's a lighter shade, yes I would it gives you a nice flushed look so I will choose at this point in time to put on my setting spray and then I'll go in with my highlight for my highlights I'm actually using a shade from our eyeshadow palette so this is our setting spray HCM you would have seen me use it in the past um, we actually have added it to our line, so you can check it out via our website, Highlight Contour and More by RLK.com. 
we have added where you can pay via credit card now before you get your order or you still have that option of paying on delivery but that's for Trinidad and Tobago only. Now why am I saying for Trinidad and Tobago only? Well we actually opened up to shipping to Canada as well as shipping to the US. We are going to open up to the Caribbean islands soon so you can look out for that. So just gonna set Just allowing it to dry a tad. I do prefer to use a small brush to do my highlighter. I know a lot of persons like that. See my highlight from the moon look? Now while I love it on other people, I don't love it on myself. So I prefer to do a very light highlight um, because like I said depending on how long I wear my makeup and I generally do not touch up during the day if I start to look oily I don't want to look really oily because of all the highlights on my face so if I'm having a busy day, generally, I would stop here, just do my eyebrows, mascara, and that's it. Um, but for today, I wanted to go ahead and actually show you guys how I use our eyeshadow palette for a quick look. I would generally just use two eyeshadows and if I'm in a real rush, I would use one brush and my finger so I'm going in with our brown shade but first I like to prime my eyes so I'm going in with I have a specific brush that I use in order to apply it just because of the shape I start where I focus on my lid and then I slowly blend out So like I said before, um, many persons are intimidated by makeup because it takes long. Um, while I was pregnant, I actually practiced 10 to 15 minute looks simply because I did not want to lose myself as a mom. I wanted to continue using my makeup and I know that it would have taken a lot of adjustment. I would not have had as much time as I had before until my son was older. So I practiced and I actually have gotten a look that would take me a shorter space of time. So that on really busy days, that's the look I go for. And just to clean up the edges, I'll lightly buff it out. So now I am going in, I'm just using, I literally just dug my finger into my palette. So I'm using the mirror, but I am using our brown shadow. <clears throat> so I'm going for a very light, sort of smoky look on the crease. And simple one shade on my lid so like I said this palette is perfect if you're looking for earthy tones
you're looking so amplify a simple look the shimmers in this palette are really nice like you can use them wet in particular that coppery shade and it is next level I'm going very lightly because I don't want to look too much like a raccoon. Very lightly in. Smoky eyes, um, something I shied away from. But looking at many videos, many different techniques of different different makeup artists both locally internationally I have found a better way to do it the thing with makeup is you can always continue to learn and grow um, never be bogged down by it focus on what you can do I don't like cut crease looks on myself. I like other techniques, so I focus on other looks. Um, while that cut crease look was like a trend, I tried it. Didn't really like it on me. Um, so I never really focused on mastering that or improving my skill in it because it's not something that I like. So something I learned recently is focus on what you can do and focus on what you enjoy doing. Everyone has their unique style so focus on what is your style what is you so i am gonna go in with the coppery shade i'm using my fingers so as you can see this shade is extremely pretty so I just take my time and apply so if you can see it's really pretty So I don't know about you guys, but the dust lately has been really affecting me, like, yeah, it has just started, and it's like, my sinuses, my allergies are insane. And to lightly blend so that it doesn't seem to be this harsh line Oops. I do want to add a little bit right. now I'm just gonna do my 
eyebrows and then I'll do on the bottom of my lids so this is our new product our HCM ultimate brow and eye cream liner the beauty of this it comes with an angle brush in the cap and you can use it both on your eyebrows and on your eyelids so the shade is dark brown so again travel friendly now generally if you know me I do not love a stenciled brow I love a natural look so I love this because it's it's one way you can if you appreciate pomade and you do have a sparse bra and you want to fill in you can and the shade is one that is more or less universal So as you can see, it allows for a really nice filled in look. So I'm going in very lightly at the start. So very very natural now if you do want to go in heavier that's fine that's just not the look that I prefer so how I'm actually using the bottle so if you notice the bottle has a very long neck so I am using it to sort of clean up so I get a nice precise brush so I have actually given up on trying to get my brows to look like the same now I know while they're not supposed to look the same they're supposed to at least look similar However, like I said, I've given up. <laughs> so if you are going for a brown smoky look, you can also use this because it is a cream brow and I like no. Okay. So there you have it. Both brows are done. So what you would find me do is on busy days, quicker days, I will just do the brow fix, which is this. Now, this brush is perfect for doing your eyebrows quickly. And also the tiny fibers in this gel helps to bulk up your brows. So you have lovely brows, you don't really need to fill in. Perfect. Perfect. And if you do love a heavier brow, 
or you just really need to fill in this is for you so I'm just gonna go in just to make sure that there are no harsh lines because like I said I absolutely love a natural looking brow but I also love neat looking brows because nice makeup and messy looking brows it kind of takes away from the whole look okay so now that i'm finished with my brow i can actually go in to the highlights underneath as well as finish up under my eyes so what i'm gonna start off with is our black cream eyeliner now this is also new the shade of it is black tie, I mean the name of it, and that in itself explains it. This is just really a good black liner. Now, what makes it so good? It's in between a liquid and a shadow. So you can use it to do your smudge out wing liner. You can use it as a base, especially if you want to do a smoky look, or you want to use it for longer wear this is for you now I generally do not line the top of my eyes because my hands are not very steady but I love to do on the bottom so I'll start off on the bottom first and then I will lightly line my top lid So my eyes water a lot if yours do as well yes a waterproof liner is for you but also set your liner with eyeshadow So like I said, on busy days, quick days, mascara, brows, eyeliner, and everything else on my face, and I am good to go. I still wear my lipsticks because I wear that for me. I love lipstick. So mask and all, I still wear my lipstick. So I'm going to go in and just lightly do the top. This is not my favorite brush to do an eyeliner, but it does bottom well. So I'm going to use that now. So you'll see me just. So if you notice, I did do both my lids with eyeliner on top and at the bottom so now I'm just gonna go in and set it um, I'm just gonna do a slightly darker brown and then I'll go in with the brown that I initially used on the top so that you can have a bit of cohesion in the look I'm also just going to run a little bit to the top. I'm going to go back in using a very tiny fluffy brush with the brown that I used on top.
to soften the cotton. Okay. I am also going to go in with a little bit of the coppery tone. There you have it. So, so I am using HCM mascara when my logo came off because that's to tell you how much I've been using this mascara. I rarely wear, rarely wear falsies, but I love full lashes. So our mascara has ingredients such as ginseng, vitamin E, aloe, which helps nourish your lashes so while you are wearing the makeup it's also helping your natural lashes it has always been my aim for makeup to not just be something that looks good but something that is good for your skin so all our products are hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic they're also not tested on animals because that is very important to me i while i cannot be a vet because it will pain me to see animals sick i love animals Growing up, we basically had like a mini farm. If I had the ability, no, I would probably have a farm. So mascara is done. I'm just taking out a little bit and lastly coming in to highlight under my brow just a tad. And then doing inner. I'm going to do my lipstick. So I'm using a very light nude shade. And there you have it guys, the completed look all using HCM products. So just remember all our products are not just makeup that looks good but makeup that is good for your skin, hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic and not tested on animals. When you think of makeup it should be something that 
it's like twofold you know so do remember to check out our new products our eyebrow pomade our eyeliner and of course our setting spray so i hope you enjoy the live and do enjoy the rest of your evening so take care until 